Welcome back to Theme Park Quiz. We have some big news today. And this comes from Orlando Park Stop. I'll put the link for, for the, the full article below. So you can see there's tons of pictures here, but I got many got the most important ones. And this is for the Jurassic Park roller coaster construction update at Islands of Adventure at Universal Orlando. Universal City Walk is scheduled to reopen next week, so that means the theme parks could be not too far afterwards, and uh, people will have this coast to enjoy next uh, year. As what we're looking here is a quick overview of the Raptor Encounter area. Here's a closer look in the Raptor Encounter. Um, definitely looks much different than our Raptor Encounter here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I like our entrance way a little bit more. But um, looks their overall area looks obviously a, a bit bigger, and this is about just a complete revamp of the Jurassic World area or park area. And as you see, that's kind of a a big overview of the coaster. I see lots of footers on the water, which we'll get to in later pictures. But right now, I want to see show you a really good graphic that again Alicia Seller from Orlando Park Stop has put together. This is the proposed um layout for the coaster space on plan submitted to the Orange County um, City uh, Planning Department over in Florida. <laughs> you see there's a lot of sections about to, or a lot of it's like over land and like very compact area, but then it launches and goes over into a top hat maneuver and then goes in front of the Discovery Center over the ocean in like a, this massive kind of helix, on, uh, you know, uh, a non-traditional helix type of section, you see those, two, which is the yellow lines to the far right, and almost uh, will be whizzing by Hogwarts, actually, I wonder if we'll, how close it'll be, could be breaking immersion, but it'll be, we'll be whizzing by, I see Harry Potter along the way, as you take a ride on this Velosa, Velocicoaster, I think the rumor name is, I absolutely love the name. Um, for this coaster, if that is true. <laughs> so, here's that first section, which has a couple of show scenes, actually. There's that big trench area you see, which we'll get a closer look at, is actually the launch. We'll be launching um, into that top hat segment and the top speed of, I think, 70. If it's like Terran, it'll be about between 70 to 75 miles per hour. Um, Terran is a coaster in Fantasia land in Germany, which is what this coaster is. As we were to be uh, as close, like close in resemblance to. Um, so it's more of a thrill coaster, not like Hagrid's. Hagrid's is a family coaster. <laughs> and now, Universal or Islands of Adventure is finally getting another thrill coaster on the level of Incredible Hulk. Moving closer to this very good close up again of the launch section, not section, that. <laughs> Where that construction equipment, there's like a little land bridge, there's a dirt bridge, that will be an actual pathway and bridge, and gets to be launching underneath that bridge, will be a nice viewpoint for a uh, passerby, I guess, watching to watch your family and friends launch um, into the ocean. It's a perfect photo spot as well. Expect to get your on ride picture there. And here is a spot, um, this is before the first launch, as you come out of the station, and that's a show building right there that's under construction. That's the first and only scene here where, or the first like kind of show building, dark red type of scene where um, <laughs> they're going to the Velociraptor cage and obviously and something in this building um, goes wrong and which leads you to <laughs> the raptors chasing you and which is why you need to escape. The last picture here is um, again just an overview of kind of the overwatered portion. I don't know if that's going to be a permanent or temporary bridge. I think it's going to be a permanent bridge. I think they, they built a temporary bridge. Um, but I think this is the permanent bridge right here. And look at all those footers there. There's going to be multiple sections of track um, going over the water. And it should be, again, very, very photogenic. And you see on the bottom of the corner there, there's a Hogsmeade. So it'll be kind of getting very close to Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. As again, you might see Harry Potter flying around over there. That is how close it's getting. It'll be a nice entrance statement to that section of uh, when you're entering Jurassic Park, the Jurassic Park area from that from Hogsmeade. It'll be a nice entrance uh, statement, seeing these uh, uh, very quick roller coaster um, 
whizzing along above you over the water. It's gonna be beautiful. Hopefully they clean up that water though. I'm looking at the more I look at it, the more dirty it is. But um yeah, it should be super, super fun. This the schedule will be open next year, 2021, and the Universal is continuing with all their construction projects um while the coronavirus pandemic is happening. I hope you all enjoyed this um construction update. I put the full link Hello, for even more detailed description and more pictures. And before we say goodbye, I do want to let you know I am. It's a oh sorry, it's a very bad picture. But uh, on my website, which is linked below, I have a whole bunch of merch, merch max masks, um, uh, shirts and buttons and a whole lot more. So definitely check out if you want some theme park wizard merch. If you need a mask, there you go. I have some for you. It's such a bad picture because it actually. Is taken on a computer. The masks are currently on route to be delivered to my house. So but in that picture is on my website. It will be a much better picture when the masks actually get here. So, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I've seen some to 42. We're almost at 650. Um, thank you for supporting me all along the way. And subscribe for more theme park updates. And check out my blog, themeparkwizard.net. So I wrote a couple articles about Disneyland resuming construction. Um, on Avengers Campus and Mickey Minnie's, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, as well as Disney World's Disney Springs opening May 20th, as I speculated on the live stream yesterday. As always, have a fantastic day.